the phantom versus memes <laughs> in in this in this 21st century where we have smartphones tvs that can talk to us and speakers that we can control with our voices sorry us humans sometimes love comedy and very recently very recently, we have seen the emergence, yes, the emergence of the Phantom and memes. We have seen the, the emergence of the Phantom and memes being a thing. Who would have thought from the Phantom being debuted in 1936 and in this 21st century, we are now having Phantoms being on memes and people making Phantoms out of memes. <laughs> that just, that felt like, oh, Dr. Evil. <laughs> and so, yeah, we also, so I thought I would react to a few. I thought I would get a couple up on the screen, have a little talk about them, and, yeah, make a comedy <laughs> segment out of it. <laughs> make a comedy skit. So, we have this, a meme that a lot of people have been talking about, 11 people, and... 51 reactions and it's it was published by Chronicle Chamber on Dece not the 9th of December and it goes a bit like this the stars are so beautiful yes what a want to know what else is beautiful ah uh, what my phantom collection <laughs> it's like he knows the way of the force he knows the way to be maybe breaking that um, moment. He knows the way of the force. He knows the other way to break this nightly scene with, with Phantom Comics. And our next, our next meme that I'm going to get up is the holiday party, sitting arrangement has limited spots left and you have to choose three co-workers to sit with. Who are you choosing? We got Hannah, thinks AI will save the comics. Bryce, depends more diver demands more, di more diversity in comics. Lois likes pop, thinks pop vinyls are the future. Shiloh looks like she's just came out of um, somewhere, and thinks that doesn't, and doesn't read corporate comics, Daisy wants to be a comic influencer, Caleb just wanna, gotta flip those books, and to flip those speckle books, bro, and Wallace, tired of woke comics, and Susan, well, she thinks she's gonna sell dead, fe <laughs> dead uncle's phantoms. So, my, my reaction to this is I think I'll be enjoying the entertainment. I think it will be a great evening. And I think that the words will be thrown around like a piñata. <laughs> yeah. That was the most... That was the most paltry throw that you could do in this studio, bro. Well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd be choosing, I'd probably be choosing three Susans and end up buying those Phantom comics off her. Because we all know that I don't have enough Phantom comics. And I need more. <laughs> and those Phantoms be like, Bye Susan, see you in the nearby garage store. Garage sale. <laughs> yeah, but literally, I'd just be watching the others been thrown into battle like hey hey i demand more diversity in comics well i think the pop vinyls are the future yeah i oh I, I gotta i gotta i gotta flip those spec books mate i gotta flip those spec books bro bro i'm tired of white comics and i'm selling my dead fans of comics to probably brad kelly and all in, in all entirety of all this, no memes were harmed in the making of this comedy skip. A Susan, a, most Susans probably would have. Most Susans may have. <laughs> but were, seriously, were memes 
were memes harmed in this comedy skit? Possibly, but no. But no. But no. A lot of Susans, maybe, but no.